Kiki Life Hackers 12 Days of Stroke Recovery. On the first day of stroke recovery, my OTS sets my range of motion, strength, balance, coordination, and sensation for doing my ADLs. On the second day of recovery, my OT Tommy. Gentle, partial, passive range of motion to mimic scooping food. On the third day of stroke recovery, my OT help me. Sit at edge of bed by teach me proper body positioning and chunk alignment for my ADLs. On the fourth day of recovery, my OT taught me visual scanning while eating and drinking to reduce less neglect. On the fifth day of recovery, my OT taught me full passive range of motion and began active range of motion to do my ADLs. On the sixth day of recovery, my OT taught me how to use a splint to reduce shortening of my muscles from contractors and maintain proper positioning. On the seventh day of stroke recovery, my OT taught me Upper body dressing, lower body dressing, with my affected side first. <laughs> On the eighth day of recovery, my OT taught me safe toileting and grooming to and from the bed using a front wheeled walker. On the ninth day of recovery, my OT taught me how to transfer safely to and from the tub and so that I do not fall. On the tenth day of recovery, my OT had taught me exercise to strengthen my affected arm so that I can independently, independently brush my hair, teeth, and everything else. On the eleventh day of recovery, my OT taught me constraint-induced movement therapy with my functional arm covered so that I can only use my affected arm for ADLs. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my OT taught me home modifications and equipment I can use to be more independent in everything I love. Now remember, it doesn't go exactly like this, but this is just a little gist of what some of the activities that OTs do with patients look like. Bye-bye! OT Life Hacker out! Like and subscribe!